Yo, what's up guys? I'm sorry for my voice here, but we got setups and I need to make the video. I need to get the updates out for you guys because Abyss is a mess for Cypher. Let me tell you, like there's bugs, but also there's not much you can do about um, enemies coming in, just rushing in and so on. Like we are pretty limited when it comes to Abyss. So I've spent a lot of time and I figured out Cypher. I figured him out. I figured out wall bank setups. I have one way setups, but they are they are limited. Uh, they are limited in the sense that there is invisible walls blocking off the ability to set up one ways. I have some very sick one ways actually. Let me let me see if I can pull one up here. All right, here it is. It's it's pretty cool. So I asked the devs if it's possible to consider lowering the indentations like the small holes in the door there uh, over day to allow this play where you stand on this ledge and when you do that and you have a camera not this one but you pair that with a one way and you look under under there so the camera would be above on the beam you would see enemies early on imagine this that's the stuff that we are getting blocked off from like we, we can't do that because of these invisible walls now let's Here. get into the setups we have a site yeah you you go from the tower and you want to put your this camera underneath the, the the beam Here. there you want to get Here. this vision and Here. you have to run and jump and place it because otherwise you can't reach it if you struggle with this placement find scroll wheel yes. up or down i would recommend up to a place to to fire so so basically you take out the, the camera there. scroll wheel up and it fires uh, the rest is pretty simple. You can do a uh, hit a level nice tripwire by the doorway, a low trip here, and then you copy the here. cages. Yes. The cages just have to be uh, kind of copied because um, the, the placement is pretty um, pretty specific. So when enemy is coming in, like it's the same on a, on a scent or pretty much on any map, you activate cages when you see or hear enemies right by the tripwire, and you shoot them. You shoot them. Make them annoyed. Cage triggered. So, so the, the cage here in the start, Enemies can push out to the side, on the right side. It's possible, but you, you, you kill them anyways, triggered. you have the upper hand there. For the second cage, this one, it also hides the edges completely. So it's it's very difficult for the, for the attackers to, uh, to break it. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be a pretty nice setup. If enemies go on the bridge though, you don't have a trip there. But you have the upper hand because you have the edge over on the corner. That you can pre fire and enemies don't have much space in in terms of movement there all right so next setup on a this yeah. one is in tower and you want to set up your camera on the oh, wall here so not nice on the beam spot. anymore but yeah here you don't use the trip wire in the um, um, choke point anymore instead you use it in the back here that goes there and for this setup you kind of want to let enemies in a bit yes you play second trip wire there and then cages, copy position. Well, you, you can be a bit lenient that with the positioning, there. but oh, uh, nice for spot. that one, you wanna you wanna yes. trick the enemies into here. thinking that you're to the right side, possibly on the right side. So um, you do that by just not allowing them to see any edges or any gaps. I mean, behind the corner, by the way, because if the door breaks, you have the corner there protecting you, and the camera has vision to the door. So when enemies come in, yeah, you have to you shoot. That's it. And if they go to the right side, well, you activate the cage, or if they come from the right side as well, just activate cage, cage and shoot them. Nothing special. Uh, I mean, it is pretty pretty nice setup, but cage nothing special in terms of um, unique things Cypher does, because this is pretty similar to what we normally do as Cypher. Just that cage the tripwires on A site are ankle height. For B, B is very nice. The first setup here, it's uh, relying yes, on these low go. trip wires. Oh, this is uh, nice we have spot. one there. We have another one here. This goes I here. find that the trip that wires on the choke point are the best ones. Because it's kind of difficult otherwise. They crash against our wall. So for this camera, it has to be placed after the shields go down. There's very few good cameras. But fortunately, here. enemies have here. to walk Cage up to the, to the cage basically to destroy the camera. And when they do that, you activate the cage and you shoot them through the cage. And if they go on the other side, you well, activate the cage and you shoot them. Easy. For the second setup, this is a wall bank setup. This goes here. I think this will be my favorite setup. 
so a tripwire goes yes. in the back this here. Now you can let them in a bit. That you don't need there. that low one. You can go for the lo uh, low ones, but I'm gonna this show you in a second. Here. Just, yes. you know, stay this calm. Now, what's what's the pattern here? Well, everything here. goes in a straight line. Here. Through the box. It is very easy to wallbang. You just, in you. a straight line, two in one value. So, yeah. Here. Enemies cage come in, three. you activate cage. Keep in mind, the tripwire is longer than the cages, so they can shoot the tripwire if someone is behind. So you have to be ready for that. And if you go on the backside, uh, well, not backside, but the um, ledge, you know, where they do the Mario jump. Well, you just activate the cage and shoot them. Pretty simple. So you can switch up to trap wires if they get, keep getting destroyed. You can go for low ones, high ones, etc. Cage triggered. Put the cage further back, put the cage further forward. Cage mix triggered. it up, you know. Uh, I feel like it's it's gonna be needed to mix it up a bit because of the tripwire length and the cage length not being the same. And uh, yeah, it, it, I think I think I'm gonna Here. update the, um, cage the setup eventually. Uh, also, when the bug fixes come in, I'm gonna add some more setups. Uh, I have some very cool, cool things in mind. Now for mid, oh, mid might feel spot. unnatural. Yes, this should do. But it's not too uh, too weird, I think. You place these trip wires, this goes here. and uh, then oh, another camera nice that goes after the yes, shows go down. This should do. And the reason for that is because uh, yeah, there's not really any we good cameras for their secrets. high round placement. Camera goes there, and yeah, perfect here. vision. You activate when enemies come in. Now, don't, this position will feel super awkward when enemies are going in uh, on the other side. So use the box here. The downside with the box is that a raise nade is gonna destroy you. So you have to escape them. But yeah, if you see enemies coming in, activate cage, shoot. Enemies going in on the other side, activate cage. Cage triggered. Shoot. Just watch out for enemies standing on the um, on the boxes behind the shelf there. And that's about it. Now for the attacker trap wires, anti flank. It's pretty simple. You place one here. Yes. Enemies can get past go. it if they use an ability, but anyone who doesn't use an ability can't get past it. Can't crouch under, can't jump out over, you know, standard stuff. And then for the second anti-flank tripwire, this one goes over here. Same thing. Keep in mind, oh, an omen, raise, etc. They can get over it. And um, yeah, that's all. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.